Kyle Long was kind of the key to their offense. You see him go big, knocking him out of the game at halftime. What was the key? Uh, just trying to get acclimated, understanding what uh, what they were going to do. Uh, it's always hard when a backup quarterback comes in, uh, just because you, I mean you're not preparing for him. So, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing we're happy that we came up out of here with the win, division game. First of all, uh, the biggest thing is just, it's a win on the road. You know, in order to be what you want to be in this league, you have to win on the road. Like these teams aren't big fans of one another. A lot of physical play on special teams among the offensive line. Is that just a product of playing this team so much? Or yeah, I mean, it's a special? divisional opponent, and, and they're out playing for their lives, and we're out playing for our life. It gets heated. It's, the, it's football. We're, we're gladiators on both sides of the ball, and everyone's going to go out there and play their best. And sometimes tempers get a little hot, and it's, it gets a little shit. Very happy that I came and uh, did my job. And just uh, want to thank my holder and long snapper in the front line. You know, they, they bust their butt uh, on every single kick. You know, it seems like those guys were getting in little fights and stuff, you know, protecting me. So I, I, th I want to thank those guys. Um, and the most important thing is that we won. Is it the, uh, hey, we got to win, we're happy to take it, we're 4-1, let's move on? F and A, man, we're 4-1. Going into the bye week, get, uh, get healthy, get the legs to come back a little bit. It's been long since training camp, four preseason games. Five games now, so it's a perfect split for us right here this bye week. You know, it was a good day. We'll have to look at the film. I'm sure there's things we can clean up. The coaches did a great job putting a good plan together. Um, but other than that, the backs just trust their instincts and hit the hole and make it happen. You know what? It's kind of because it's like when you're coming up in these, when you're coming up to Denver or Kansas City or Oakland, you know that anything can happen, anything's possible. And, uh, you know, I know the emotions got real high when, when 15 came in for them. You know that when he comes in and he makes one play, everybody just feeds off of him. That's, that's, he just had that kind of moxie about him that, you know, when, when he can do anything, everybody feeds off of it. And, uh, so, and that's what happened today. But the one thing about it is that we didn't, we didn't blink. We didn't blink. Out. We didn't blink. We knew that we had to, to, to get a job done. We knew that we had to make a play on third down and Malcolm make the, the biggest play of the game and, you know, come out with a win. Joining the ball in general today, you guys had over 200 yards to the team, even though you lost both your starting backs. What was the key? Was it the line blocking? Was it a bad defense? What, what happened? I thought the offense line did a great job. I thought uh, Randy and Michael did a great job stepping in and playing fullback when I had to go tailback. I thought uh, Corey Sperry did a great job stepping in for Randy when he had to go fullback. I think it was a, a true offensive team effort. And then the defense uh, won for us at the end, so that's really a team victory. Okay.